Hallo meine Freunde und willkommen in so einem Video. Und uh, ich... I, want, I don't know how you say talk. <laughs> I want to talk about something that's very important. Uh, very important and actually I'm going to start the intro off again. Hello everybody. What's up Bray Gang? Welcome to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. And today I want to kind of touch on a topic that a lot of people don't really talk about. I mean, I've seen a few people talk about it, but not, a, not enough. And it's basically... Uh, the easiest way to learn a new language, the easiest and simply fastest way to learn a new language. Now, it's um, it's a lot easier than you would think. Now, typically speaking, you ask anybody that um, is on the street or anybody in general, and you ask somebody, hey, how do you learn a new language? They'll tell you the same boring method that everybody and their pet cat has used from decades and decades upon decades, which is go to school, take a class, sign up for a course, uh, any of those, those things. But what you what, what you can kind of get from all that is that uh, when you do sign up for those classes, when you do take those courses, nine times out of ten, it takes you ten times longer to learn uh, the language. And there's a reason for that. I'll get into that in a second. Now, another thing, too, is you ask people, how long does it take to get proficient or conversational in a language? And they'll tell you like three to four years, depending on the difficulty of the language. The average answer for any language or most languages is like one to two years minimum, right? Well, I I strongly disagree with that. I feel like you can learn a language fluently uh, within six months, six months to a year. Now, I saw another YouTuber talk about this and it definitely uh, resonated with me because I know for a fact you can do the same thing. And I'm going to explain it very short, very sweet, and um, you know, kind of give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about. I'm trying this method out myself and it's working out very well. If you guys have not noticed, most of this channel consists of me reacting to a lot of music from different countries. Now, if you've noticed very recently, I've been reacting to predominantly German content. Why is that? Because just like a a lot of you all, everybody watching this, uh, most of my subscribers are international, so I assume you guys are watching this video from overseas. Um, most people tend to learn English from not just school, right? Most people don't even learn English in school. Now, I know overseas, English is taught in school, so I'm not referring to you guys, but for the people who have taught themselves using more comfortable methods, like watching TV, getting on social media, um, reading posters, hearing people talk on the street, those are ways that you can learn English fast because you put yourself in a situation where you have to adapt to the, to the, to the climate, to the culture. You really put yourself in the shoes. Now, imagine what kids do, right? Kids use this method all the time. We it, keep it simple. That, that's a simple, it, it's, it's the, the keep it simple method. Kiss, right? Keep it simple, stupid. So kids do this over and over again. I remember my, my little brothers growing up, right? Um, before they could even really talk and say full sentences, they would watch the same movies over and over and over again at least a hundred times. They'd sit there in silence until eventually they got, they mustered up the confidence to try to repeat the script word for word for word for word. And they did. Eventually they were able to say, understand every little bit and piece of the movie, every word that was spoken, it was flawless. So um, all I'm saying is we can apply the same method by watching uh, your favorite creators or watching creators from overseas. If you're trying to learn Korean, watch Korean YouTubers, uh, watch Korean movies, make sure you turn your subtitles on for a little bit in the beginning stages. I'd say for the first like four or five months and um, maybe like not even that long, maybe the first like one to three months, you know, watch, you know, uh, your favorite YouTube creators, your favorite, uh, you know, movies or e any kind of international movie with subtitles turned on and then you'll be able to start associating words with, with auditory uh, cues. And then eventually you'll become proficient in understanding and responding to that language. It, it, it becomes second nature, you know? You don't need any formal training. You don't need to do it the way everybody else does it. I know of several people that speak you know, like I'd say five plus languages and they did not take a single course. They took it upon themselves to actually un uh, study and not and, and st study the actual culture itself, meaning the not taking any classes, just watching YouTube videos, watching movies, watching TV shows in that country's um, environment and stuff just just like on the internet through the internet and i think that is something that is heavily overlooked i feel like we waste so many resources um and not saying that they're completely useless you know taking classes and stuff because they can help to an extent you know they provide that structure and whatnot uh but i feel like the most 
the, the, the easiest way, because it's very relaxing, very relaxing, think about it, you're always on your phone, you're always on either Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitch, whatever, um, and imagine watching that same content that you're watching right now, but just from a different country. You don't understand anything at first, but whatever you're watching is so captivating, you really want to understand and make that a part of you. So that's what I've been doing. And, and in case anybody's been curious as to why I have so many German videos on my channel, why I've been covering so many international countries i do this so i can really absorb the culture so when i do travel out to these countries i know a thing or two about a thing or two i can actually respond back to uh the person speaking to me in whatever respective language and right now the main focus is germany so um for everybody that's been very supportive thank you so much and for anybody trying to learn a new language i hope this helps because it's something that's overlooked all the time and i really want you to understand that uh you can there are a hundred different ways to learn a language but i easily think the easiest way to learn a new language is this. Now, this also goes into uh, the, the, the very last portion I wanted to talk about, which is consistency. So obviously, it is good to do this, but the number one thing you need to be is consistent. Now, if you spend two months, two to three months, you know, do, you know, uh, I guess practicing, uh, understanding a language, and then you revert back to whatever you're doing prior, and you don't even touch on the language that you're trying to learn, it's going to be a lot harder and a lot more difficult for you to learn that language. In fact, if it, to an extent, the structure of, you know, like obviously forming sentences and things of that nature, all, all of that goes out of the window because you're not consistent. But with, I'd say about, you know, maybe 30 minutes to an hour a day, you could, I would even venture to say two hours a day, um, two hours every single day, speaking, listening, understanding, fully embracing whatever language you're trying to learn. And I almost guarantee within six months, you'll be at least conversational. Now, a lot of people say that, um, you know, you'll never fully learn a language. I don't fully understand English. I really don't. I mean, there's so many new, English is constantly evolving. Languages are constantly evolving. But if you understand the basic conversational skills of any language, you can become fluent. And that's all I really wanted to touch on because I know a lot of people have a lot of questions for me as to why I make the content that I make and why I geared my content a certain way and it's for that very reason i've already learned a, an astronomical amount i've been very consistent with learning german and actually i'd say i'd venture to say um since i started i would say october is when i started taking it seriously um and November time frame, I took it very serious. So we'll just use November as the key starting point. And I feel like from November until now, I've made huge, huge, huge improvements. And you guys can hear that in just simple greetings that I have now on the channel. Now, um, I, I watch a lot of content creators from Germany. Uh, Tanzerbot, Knossi, he's a, I know he's a, more of a Twitch streamer. Uh, Montana Black, Adlerson, um, you know, Gavitar. Uh, and uh, a, f a bunch of others, Elena Enscope, Unsen Patish, uh, Ungespielt, uh, a lot of other creators from Germany and uh, their, their videos are becoming more and more understandable. When you see me watching those videos and you're like, does this man understand what the hell is going on? I am, slowly but surely. I mean, I might look a little puzzled in, in some videos, but I'm learning and that's honestly a very effective method that I actually got from y'all. <laughs> y'all ask, you, you tell me all the time, you're like, man, I watch a lot of American movies and um, it really helped me to learn English. And that really sat, it hit different for me because I'm like, man, a lot, like, a lot of my American homies are telling me, yo, like, you know, you should learn this language, just take a, you know, a Rosetta Stone course or use this app. Uh, to be honest, I have not been con consistent with uh, that Duolingo app I showed you guys earlier. Duolingo helps you with, I guess, basic sentence structure, but I don't think it's very good for actually learning the language. It's not, in my, in my opinion. I feel like nothing beats authenticity. And the most authentic thing you can do is get in tune with the actual setting, the actual climate of whatever you're trying to learn. Because think about it. It's like teaching yourself Japanese without watching anime or any kind of Japanese related movie, show, or, or looking at anything Japanese related at all. It's gonna be a hundred times more difficult than submerging yourself in that culture comment down below if you agree that's pretty much the video like comment subscribe turn on your post notifications and let me know if you agree with this method because this method in my opinion is the most effective method to learning a language in less than a year conversationally any language try it out sometime let me know how you guys are performing i will disp display my progress on what i've learned in german so far and hopefully you guys can understand me and also for all my German subscribers, let me know how my German has been over the last few months. Has it improved? Has it gotten worse? Let me know. 
And uh, if you have any ideas for me as far as any other video I'm going to make next in the future, uh, go ahead and drop that in the comments down below. We have a Discord server linked in the description. Go ahead and follow that. I'm going to go get with Twitch after this video to see if I can get my account back because your boy got banned. But that's another question for another time, another topic for another time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next time I see you guys again, take care. Peace. Hey, what's up? Did you guys subscribe to the channel? Did you subscribe to the channel? Ah, well, if you haven't, make sure you do that. Also, we do have a Discord. The Discord link is always gonna be in the description down below on any of my videos, and it's dope. What we do on Discord is pretty simple. A lot of you guys are, I'm collecting you guys from a bunch of different countries, a bunch of different places, and you guys wanna teach me a whole bunch of stuff. You guys can join the Discord and teach me anything. You can send me any kind of messages and stuff. You can actually post memes. You could participate in the community and just make friends. Just go ahead and join the Discord and see what, how, what what kind of situation you're getting into for yourself. Also, there's gonna be some giveaways in the future. There's gonna be some giveaways, but to create some incentive for that, I need you guys to follow me on Instagram. Are you guys following me on Instagram? You know what my Instagram looks like? You probably don't know what my Instagram name is. Uh. <laughs> It's right there. Just go ahead and check it out. Check it out. Check it out. It, it's dope. Uh, just follow me on Instagram. I, I do live streams every day. I try to, you know, engage with you guys in every way possible. I know a lot of, a lot, not a lot of creators are very engaging with their fan base. I try to be engaging. So just go ahead and check it out. There's no, no harm, no foul. Follow me on Twitter too. I honestly am trying to grow my Twitter, <laughs> but I don't really post that often on there. But when I do, you guys will be the first to see whatever post those will be. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you guys want shout outs or whatever, I don't know. A lot of, we have a lot of upcoming independent artists that have been hitting me up as of late I might create a series where I get I favor my international independent artists and stuff and I might promote you guys for free but just it might just be one or two a week you know I mean you guys can give me some feedback on that but all to say follow me on my social medias all right if you guys aren't doing that already you need to do that because that's a pretty big deal <laughs> I'll see you guys later but enjoy the content I create it's gonna be random uh, reaction videos a lot of a lot of everything reaction videos vlogs challenges cooking videos gaming videos anything you guys suggest when you join my discord or message me on instagram but i'll see you guys soon take care follow me peace